Hi everyone, I'm back for another quick video. Um, a few people had wanted to see exactly how I set up my uh, Mr. Darcy Nero. Now I've only had him a total of one entire day, um, but I am totally loving this notebook. I mean, sorry for the glare, but look at the beautiful color of the leather on this notebook. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, let me set this aside. I've already started to set up my January uh, bullet journal, which I'm going to start using at the beginning of the year. But So we can take a look inside and see exactly what all we have. So, the first insert that I have here is one of the craft folders. Um, and this isn't a Midori brand. I think it's... um. I think I got it from like Pellis Studio or one of those um, Etsy stores. And what I have on it is I have one of the look term uh, pen loops to hold my favorite pen, my little Muji 0 0.5. I think it's a 0 0.5. Let's see. Whoop. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, it's a 0 0.5. And it fits incredibly well in this pen loop and it doesn't go anywhere and I've got um a piece of cardstock with a myriad of post-it notes on it just to keep them out of the way and nearby and I have a couple of um DIY fish this is the November calendar and this is the De December calendar so I can put in my um bullet journal when I get to those months. Um, and then this is the um, small project calendar, uh, the um, Carrie Harling design that I'm testing and I like it, I'm liking it a lot. Um, so that is on the first elastic. On the second elastic, I have, as you can see, right here the uh, Marsha Bramushi simple and beautiful it's the month on two pages sorry if you can hear that jingling that is my little puppy Seamus he's a Pekingese and he's making a lot of noise but he's cute so we we keep him <laughs> so what you can see here is it's just it's a two a month on two pages there's September Here's October. I use this for future planning and as a quick reference um, to see if, you know, I get called for a gig or for a student or something to see if I have availability in my day for that um, and planning future events because I'm, I think I've got filled up through May, through the um, middle of May, May 17th. Um, and then I can, you know, add, because it goes, this is from September of 2015 through December of 2016. So it's got, um, lots of, lots of months that I can fill. So that's what's on the second band. On the third band, the first thing I have is the, um, as you can see, maybe I'll do this. Let's slide the computer a little bit forward. See if that helps. Maybe that does. We'll, we'll try that. Um, I have the Midori uh, credit card pocket um, and I've got, you know, some coffee cards, the Chic Sparrow card that came with this notebook, um, some stuff from Goulet Pens because I um, had ordered, I'm trying to remember what I ordered from Goulet Pens ink and a Midori insert, something like that. Oh, the Midori um, Pan Am uh, zipper pocket and insert came from them. But what I have around that is these three inserts. These are DIY fish and they are her classic Midori Traveler's Notebook, you know, the, the traditional Midori size. And um, I use them backwards. And something that I've, I've done since I've got this notebook, since it's larger, in my blue Midori, I just had the um, October in it. But you'll see I have it backwards. I have October in this lovely green. Then connected to that, I have... November, 
And then connected to that, I have December. And I do it this way, because um, I think they're meant for you to look at it like this. So your Monday is on the left, Sunday is on the right, and you know, your days go this way. And then the same thing with the weeks. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I actually like it this way, where you have your Monday at the top, Sunday at the bottom, and when you get to the days, I have a bit more room to write this way instead of, I'm not a big fan of writing this way. So you have your weeks on the right, and then you have this um, graph paper for notes or for bullet journaling or for whatever you need to do on the left. Um, and it, it works really well. And all I did was, you know, I printed each individual insert and then I covered them and then I decided, you know, she talks on when you when you purchase the inserts, how to stitch them together. Well, I'm not much of a stitcher, but I did it with staples and it worked out just fine. So that's how I have those. And I really like them quite a bit. Um, and then here's the back of that Midori pocket. I had some other things in here, but I took them out since I'm filming this video. And then on the last... Um, elastic because there's four elastics i have the the traditional midori zipper pocket with some cards that i got from starbucks a photo i took that's on my business card one of my flute business cards some goulet pen stuff and then this which is my bullet journal um which i've been using since um september and i'm really liking it so here you can see i have one of the um DIY fish calendars here. Um, and then I've got, you know, some goals for the month and some insert stuff. My October, just, you know, like the way they suggested the bullet journal on the bullet journal webpage. And then I've started a task list of things that I need to do every month. Um, expenses this is um one of those little charts from etsy i'll i'll find out where i got it from and i'll put the information in the description box below but i've been doing a no spend october well i've spent the last two days or two days of the last four and also it was a no eat out october and you know just checking the days that i eat out well i've eaten out <laughs> here let me mark today Went to Starbucks and had a sandwich and a coffee and so there we go. So not off to a very good start this October, but that's okay. Monthly bills and here's a list of stuff that I need to, in the description box below, put. Um, and so I'm going to continue to use this till the end of the month. And then I have um, here at the back... I have um, the zipper pocket, and I've got in here some Hobonichi stencils, some of the Midori elastics, actually all four of the Hobonichi stencils. I've got some washi tape, I've got some cute stickers, some Reset Girl stickers, some of these I got from uh, Dash and Max Etsy store. There's um, a Project Life card in there. So that's how I have my uh, new... Uh, Chic Sparrow, Mr. Darcy setup. Let's put my... Oh, and this, I'm sure someone will ask, is the Coletto Lumio, um, and it's in the silver color. And the inks I have in it are red, green, blue, and black. Those tend to be the, the most commonly used ones that I use. And of course, my Muji pen, which I showed you earlier. Um... But I've spent some time this weekend getting my uh, bullet journal for January started um, because it'll be here sooner than later. And what I have in here, of course, is I kind of like that idea of setting it like that. So I've got, you know, what my code 
is. And then I got this from Carrie Harling. I love this idea of using the DIY fish calendar. And what I'm going to be doing is, uh, since I teach at three schools, one is a pre-college conservatory and two universities, is each place has a different color. Um, and you can see what I chose here. The conservatory is red, the University of Tulsa is green, uh, TCC is blue, and the Tulsa Symphony is orange. Um, and right now, all I know is when I'm teaching at the conservatory and what my symphony schedule is so far for January through May. Um, and those are just the um, single colored you know, Muji pens, which I love, and you can get them at Amazon, like a whole set of all of these colors, plus many more for, you know, $14 or so, really reasonably priced. Um, and so for right now, what I'm doing, if you look, and this isn't an original idea, I got it from Carrie Harlan. So we'll go with um, February. So at the conservatory, um, I teach there on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, unless there is a vacation day or I've got symphony or, um, you know, some rehearsal or performance going on. So you can see I work on a Monday and a Tuesday, have a Wednesday off there, <laughs> Thursday and a Friday. And then the next week, I'm there only on Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And then this week, I think it's like... Oh, we might have a, a big symphony or a ballet week, and I'm only there one day that that week. Um, and then you can see down here, the reason there's two lines is we have two services that day. One's a morning, and then that would be, you know, afternoon and the evening. So I've started to do that. I was just messing with some stamps. These are... Um, Studio L2E stamps and I liked them so I just thought I would mark it up but what I've done is I've got also my teaching schedule there and I'm going to try to keep my university schedule the same as it is this semester because it worked so well but here I have my um, January this is the classic from uh, DIY fish that I have in here and um, all I did was print the first or the second page and the third page, and then just cut the sections I needed. I taped them with runner tape to this notebook and then just covered it with washi tape. And and then, so that way I'll have my month here, and then I'll use this for bullet journaling. And this is one of my inserts that I got from Jennifer Harvey and her group at the Chic Sparrow. So I just wanted to show you what I have and what most likely I'm going to be using. I've, I've really enjoyed using the bullet journal system this fall. So there you go. I want to make sure this is under 15 minutes. So here is my beautiful notebook by Jennifer and her gang. And thanks for stopping by and I'll leave any information in the box below. Thanks. Bye-bye.